C++ programming tutorial and um, what we're looking at is like um, operator overloading and the last one we've done the basic one with void which took an integer now what we couldn't do is we couldn't add two classes together um, what we were doing was adding a number to a class and we were using like um, the operator we were using like the, the operator name from the class a plus class and a parameter now what we're going to do now and I've changed the code is I've created three classes of the, this class uh, the add operator class called one add no parameters was passed to it add one pass number three add two and pass number five and then I added them two together. Now this is what makes this different because oh, because we've made the operate overload return the type of class and we passed um, the class to it instead of an integer. So that enables us to do like adding um, classes together, three different three different um, instances of this class has been added together so two is added and one holds the result and so what I'll show you the difference what we've done is this was void and this was int so this part's the exact same one what with what we're doing is we're going to return um, an object of this class and we're passing an object of this class to it and if we go back to defining the overload of the operator plus method what we've done is we've it's going to return an object of this class so add is an object of this class and we've passed the um, add as a parameter to the override method and so what we've done we've said what we passed add dot value as a private member plus its value and so this here is not part of the class and so what we've done is we've if we can see it from here no we've come here we've got a private member um, value there and when we make an instance we pass number three i think it is to it this becomes number three and the other one's 50 i'm not too sure 55 and that becomes 55 and so that's the value here and so this would be the like 55 for free and so when we add in two of them together what it's doing is adding them together and then it's passing it's taking two arguments the value plus what we pass to it so this would be like add one and this would be add two and then add is going to equal the total of these two and so and what we do is we return add so the value in add um, its value becomes um, the value of these two added together and so that's the difference that was void and that was an integer and because it's void we didn't return anything but what we return is a whole object and that's what we passed in here so if we go back to the code down, <coughs> we've got our get and set methods. We're not used to set method because we've, we've already we're capable of putting making its value free, and we're capable of doing it 55 for the second one. And this one doesn't take doesn't change um, the value of its value. And then what we've done is add this instance of add operator equals add one which is three plus add two and so what we've done is then it's got the its value of this one is going to be printed to screen because we're using the get method and so if we save and run the program 58 and so that's three and five 
added together. Now if I change this to a minus it won't work because normal operators don't do things with instances of classes, objects. Save it, compile. Error. And that's because we've not overloaded this one. And so what that's what we will do is we'll we'll create another copy we'll copy this one. And what we'll do is we'll change this to a minus and we'll change this to a minus. So we're going to take away and so if I save and compile um, it doesn't like it and it doesn't like it because we've not actually told it that we're going to, we're going to implement we've got to tell that we're going to implement a method what it what it returns and what gets passed to it and it's a minus instead of save compile and it's happy and so if we go down to main what we can do now is we can go minus and it will accept that so this is going to equal the this class getting took away from that class save compile run the program and minus 52 because um, we made 255 so if we do 2 and we change that to 1 and if we save compile run the program <coughs> 52 so what it's done it's took 3 away from 5 and it's because we've overrided the method. We can also override the multiplication one. And so if I do that, just copy, just cut and paste it, and change it to the asterisk for multiplication. Change this to asterisk for multiplication. So we're dealing with objects here, this is different. We'll also look at like using friend functions. Well, I'm using a get and set method. With a friend function, we, we don't need to use get and set, and because it's not a member, it behaves different. What we've got as members of this class, we've been overloaded, overloading the, the operator. We can use a friend and then it's not a member, so it behaves different. And so if I say, if, if I go to the header file, um, copy this one, change that to an asterisk, save and go to main, change this to multiplication and asterisk, save, compile, and run the program. And so 3 times 55 is 165, which is right. Well, it better be right. <laughs> right, but it is right. And anyway, so so that's um, that's like I've been able to add objects and, and method of overloading. And the difference is, is what we're doing here is we're returning the object of the class that's what this is, we've created an object, we're passing an object and then we're turning it and so what we're doing is we're saying one object add another object equals this and there's more ways you can do that as well inside this code will be whatever this method does, this is a method when you use the minus sign or the plus sign or the multiplication these operators are actual methods that take arguments, it takes a colon method, a colon method here, or call, sorry, a colon object and an argument or sometimes just two arguments, right, left hand argument and a right hand argument and it depends on how you use this overloading and so that's overloading again so I hope that's been some help of you, help to you. What I'm going to look at next time is uh, using a friend operator 
Um, so these are members of this class. If I use a friend, the the overloader, the <coughs> excuse me, the operator overloader method, it will not be a member of this class because it's a friend. Now you can use it from outside the class and access its private members. So again, thank you for your time.